and welcome back everyone to the Matrix Unveiled School of Mysticism. My name is Thanuj and today we are here once again and I'm going to be discussing with you all today about understanding what your purpose is inside of this Matrix reality and as well as what to do and how to prepare for this resetting process of the Matrix, of this reality that we find ourselves in. And this is really important because we need to understand how this resetting process and how this restart of our reality is beginning to occur and how there is actually a dying and a decaying of the old paradigm and the old world and there is an emergence of a new world and of new consciousness within the astral and the causal realms. So this is really an important conversation we're going to have today with you because we're going to talk about Dharma understanding your deeper life's purpose and your true purpose in this reality, which is about, you know, understanding your manifestation energies and how you can create, how you can become a sovereign being within this reality and how you can start to manifest and architect the reality that you choose as opposed to being limited or controlled or directed by an external force we begin to take power in ourselves, in our dharma, in our life purpose, and in our spiritual essence, and what we find to be cosmic order. So I am going to talk to you and explain exactly what life purpose is, or what this concept of dharma is. And really to me, life purpose and dharma is not really something that is just about one singular life. It is about a cosmic or a spiritual overtone of an individual's energy or an individual's spiritual spark or their divine spark. And so Dharma is basically the essence of who you are, your cosmic beingness, your cosmic duty, your cosmic order, the way you manifest, the way you uphold your spiritual energy, your Shakti. Okay, so these are Vedic terms that I'm utilizing because this is some of the ancient and most or authentic spirituality that can be found is the Vedic tradition and the gnosis that came from these Vedic scholars and these Vedic monks and these Vedic uh, magicians, what they really were, because they manifested power and they wielded the spiritual element. And so as we become masters of our dharma or beings that have become attuned to our dharma and living our dharma, deepening this practice each day, we begin authentically able to manifest and to create our world by understanding that life has a deeper meaning other than life being a simulation or life being just an illusion. There's actually a deeper process going on here that involves your cosmic being. And so on the screen here, you're going to see some images which we're going to share with you which show you about the, the unfoldment process which is your, your, like, your birthing of your spiritual wings and your spiritual energy system and your spiritual cosmic uh, self, which is multidimensional, which has many layers, which is a cocoon of energy and light and frequencies and lotus petals and all different kinds of things. <clears throat> As you begin to visualize and manifest, you are creating yourself. And this is why they call this the Merkaba or the chariot or you know, the energy field of the aura. Okay, this, this Merkaba, this interdimensional chariot, is your sense of self that exists beyond the physical and it propels you through the dimensions, through the realities, through your existence. However, you need to, in order to keep your Merkaba, your chariot, your, your energy field, your, your Taurus, okay? In order to keep this energy field activated and really attuned, you must bring righteous order into your being. You must follow a certain code of morality, of truth, of light, of goodness, of, of seeking and, tr and really actually wanting to create something authentic and then following one's hard spark, okay? These, these codes of morality and these codes of truth and these codes of where you walk in alignment with who you really are and what you know the truth to be is what gives one power in the world and what gives one the ability to manifest and to wield the reality and become a, a reality bender so like as they talk about in the matrix movie there is no spoon okay 
The mind is creating everything. The mind is projecting reality. The mind is projecting consciousness. The mind is projecting everything. We've discussed, it, we've discussed this with you in the holographic matrix ex experience. And we've also talked much more deeper about Dharmic life purpose mastery within the Matrix Unveiled School of Mysticism in our Dharma Life Purpose Mastery course. And we're really going to be going much deeper in 2023, at the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 into Dharma Life Purpose Mastery. So those of my students and those people that are in the Mystical Initiate monthly membership, I highly recommend you uh, look into that because you're going to really learn about Dharma Life Purpose Mastery. And Dharma Life Purpose Mastery is mastering your Dharma, mastering the reason you, you of your incarnation and all of your existence within your primordial state. So the idea here is to actually ingrain within our consciousness, our dharma so deeply, so profoundly, so on such a multidimensional level, on all our parallel selves, that our power is like a beacon, a spiritual lotus flower, a spiritual elemental, a spiritual aeonic power. And so we radiate and shimmer and shine like a star beacon of light. And as you become this beacon of light, you transcend the material maya. You transcend the illusion. And you begin to also, as I said before, as you stay in alignment with your true self and your true purpose here, you begin to gravitate others towards you and you begin to gravitate your reality towards you as you are this beacon. And as you're shedding layer after layer after layer of illusion and of falsehood. But the key here is to be just, which means just in your power, which means just in your truth. And so I use this word just because you would want to really identify who your core element is, what your core element of your consciousness is. And what, what this is, is what sustains you, what sustains your power in existence. This would be the other word for Dharma. So Dharma is a really profound concept. And Dharma is a Sanskrit word, which is a language that is not really used in today's modern vernacular, in today's modern understanding. But Sanskrit is an ancient Vedic uh, language which was utilized by the ancient Vedic scholars and the ancient ascetics and the ancient mystics who understood reality was an illusion and that they could transcend the boundaries of this matrix maya. So, you know, we're going to talk a lot about what that purpose is and how to actually recognize when you are living in your dharma um, and this is also about really breaking free from these repetitive cycles that we find ourselves in in our life's purpose okay so one of the reasons why you want to stick with your dharma and you want to stick with your your truth and living in righteous order is that this righteous order actually upholds the cosmos from falling into chaos so we see this world around us which is falling deeply into chaos, deeply into confusion. People are being confused about things like their gender, their race, their identity. You know, all of these things, they're also being corralled and basically corrupted to lose all of their morality, their sense of spiritualness, their sense of consciousness. And, you know, many of the people we see in this hologram are not even real. So they're also just NPCs and we have to also consider that. And then we also have the different types of you know, other intelligences, which I've talked about at length in my book, Agenda AI, okay? So, as you're understanding this holographic nature of reality and that your reality can be sculpted around you as long as you are manifesting from within your core as you become the projector of your reality, you begin to build not only unwavering discipline, which is extremely important. So if your reality isn't working where you want it to be, and it's not really manifesting the way, maybe you're in, still in scarcity consciousness, or you're still feeling limitations. Well, you can break through these limitations as long as you know the magical spell, as long as you know the magical frequency, the code to unlock the gate. So reality is a multidimensional chessboard, which is why I emphasize for the students in the School of Mysticism and for everyone that's really listening here to actually you know, play chess, to learn chess, and then to analyze how reality is a chessboard. There is the duality, there's the white and the black, there is the 
movement of the pieces and whether you're aware of the strategies of conquering the center and learning how to strategically place your pieces and place your elements of your field into the reality. These are codes, these are symbols, these are ways and gateways of creating and reality sculpting. So it's like reality engineering. And as we have this end times of consciousness, this end times experience that is manifesting where there's more and more corruption, okay? I'm going to go into this deeply in Battle Magic, my new course that's coming out for the School of Mysticism. We're, okay, we're going to be talking about Battle Magic and you know, what corruption magic is, what dark magic is, and how dark magic is really the reason for most of the corruption and most of the distortion of the fields that we find ourselves in. But if we were true divine warriors, and if we were true divine sparks, we would know we could stand up to this power and we could slay it with our spiritual might. So that is the challenge here for you to step up. Do you have the unwavering discipline? Do you have the level of commitment, the level of skill, the level of unwavering, even when your emotions and your, your, your psychic body may be taking debris on or taking on different types of events or different types of setbacks, are you able to still transmute that energy and move forward is what's going to differentiate the person that really exits out of this plane and breaks free from the holographic dream or the one that reincarnates. That's what I have to wager. That's what I would claim it to be is those that really trust and know in their divine power with all their heart and soul and spirit and spark and even when they find themselves blocked or stuck, they know that they will even come out against it on top of things even higher. This I've experienced in my own reality many, many, many times. And this is proof in of, in of itself that we are the divinity. And so while there is this chaos matrix going on, there is the corruption magic. We need to wield the battle magic. We need to wield the magic of luminous fire to disperse with that type of attack, that type of interference. So when you raise your frequency and your signal high enough, you become a beacon and you also become a lighthouse and you also become a shield against evil and darkness and fear and scarcity and all of these corruption codes, these corruptive magical codes. So if you want to learn how to reverse these magical codes, this is what we teach in length in the Matrix Unveiled School of Mysticism, we explain to you in a very deep curriculum and on a multidimensional, multidisciplinary level. So we're explaining to you every element from your spiritual awakening process to your meditation process to your, your mystical process to your magical process to you know, your shamanic and your elemental processes as well as anything in between. Even things like financial abundance and creating sovereignty and creating you know, your own dharmic life purpose mastery and really understanding how to defend yourself magically and put shields up and then also how to go on the offensive if you need to and to clear out certain energies or attacks or, you know, these kinds of things. This is what we specialize in and this is what I teach in a very deep level. So the Kali Yuga and the Matrix Cycle coming to an end, this is not something to be afraid of this is something to prepare now for and be prepared for the world shifting. Be prepared. You know, there are certain zones in this matrix or this reality field which are going to be under much more attack. And so that's why it's recommended for those spiritual individuals that have luminary, luminary uh, sparks that are still intact, still here, still present in this game, quote unquote, or in this field to start to navigate to places that are more secure. So we talk about that as well in the private community. I mean, I'm just going to simply say, you know, use your head and, and kind of be aware of which ley lines are under heavy attack. So that's another problem that we've discussed at length. And that's one of the reasons why we have spiritual defense systems and we have magical defense systems and why we, we host and we, we basically foster this type of gnosis so you're not being attacked and so you're not at victim for the complete enslavement 
of your consciousness. Whether it be through transhumanism or a digital matrix, through the web, harvesting, through um, a variety of other things, through the, the engineering of the, G, the electrical environment above your heads. If you're in the United States, you know, the weather is being manipulated. <clears throat> this should not really be a, a shock to you, but that means the whole plasma, the entire reality energy is being manipulated. So you're not going to be able to activate your codes as easily. Your, your DNA codes, you know, this, this light body that can turn on, which can actually zap the mosquitoes. And once, they, once they're aware that you learn how to zap the mosquitoes, they're not going to bother you as much nearly anymore. Because they're going to understand that you've stepped into your power, and so now you're a force to be reckoned with, because we are the forces of nature. We are the aeonic forces. So... A lot of this stuff, we're also going to go into more into battle magic. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming out in the near future. We actually already are uh, offering pre-enrollment to my mystical initiates. So the students that are already in the school of mysticism, they are being given the option to uh, do pre-enrollment and they will get that, co uh, that course content first. Okay. So this is really why we talk about the magical spiritual defense systems. And um, we also, we want to talk about you know, with this, the cycle uh, resetting process is for people to really get on board with being prepared and getting themselves, their resources correct, you know, their, their purpose and alignment. So once you get your purpose in alignment and you really find what it is you're here to do and to refine, this is a refining process. So each day you got to put in the time and the energy to build your system up, to build your quantum field up. If you're not putting in the time and the energy, you will notice that your fields will deteriorate. And it's really up to you to push yourself and to have that discipline and to learn how discipline can change you as an individual and make you sharper. So it's kind of like, you know, you're sharpening your blade against a, a blade sharpener or like a, like a steel and you're just, you're sharpening your edge each day, each day, each day. And this is really the essence of masculine energy. So even for feminine energy, feminine energy is about the flow about moving through obstacles and you're going to need both types of energies. So don't be mistaken, but recognize that the masculine energy is really powerful in just uh, bursting through barriers and moving through things. So things like we've talked about before, like, you know, scarcity consciousness, scarcity is just literally a mindset. And so we have to adopt the, the, the idea and the understanding of unlimited energy, unlimited funds, unlimited, you know, possibility, unlimited manifestation. Once we understand this truly, and we truly understand and really step into that power and that trust with the reality hologram, the reality hologram will always reciprocate and always come in with you. Okay? So this is the secret of magic. This is the secret of magic is that magic works when you believe in it and when you trust in it and you also Know how to concentrate your energy and your force. And you also understand that there's a greater force beyond you that you can communicate with that would be, you know, what you would call the matrix or what you would call this holographic dream experience. And there's various other forces. So this is what would be, what would be spiritual intelligences, okay? So <clears throat> another thing I want to talk about with this Dharma, and we're going to really wrap up here, um, and to get the whole conversation, you know, we're going to go into this way more inside of Dharmic Life Purpose Mastery. So if you like this content, I highly recommend you check out our membership while we're offering it now. Our two plans are our monthly initiate plan and our yearly initiate plan. They can be found in the description below. And also just stay tuned on this YouTube channel and be, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button because we're going to be talking more about, you know, Dharma and creating a reality. So as people and this reality are falling apart. This is the problem. People are going to get so caught up in the distractions and the fears and what is being told to you, and you're not really stepping back and sitting in your own field of consciousness and saying, what can I bring to the table? How can I start to shape around my reality what is necessary? And so you're not being a generator of reality. And when you fall into the non-generator sense of reality, you become a battery. This is the trick. So that's why we want to be a generator. We want to remember that we generate the reality. We are the projector. We choose the terms of our existence. 
And we, through hard work, through perseverance, through dedication, through channeling our consciousness and our spiritual energy, remember, it does take diligence. It does take discipline. It does take hard work. It does take you doing it every day and consistently doing it. It's not just like a one and done. That's not how magic works. That's not how energy works. That's not how your spirit works. Your spirit works through your everyday process. Just like if you're going to work on your body and make your body in a stronger position, which I recommend all of you do because that's part of spirituality, is you, you have to work out every day. You have to go and do something that's physical to increase your daily life force energy. Okay? So with that, we want to say thank you so much for watching. Do not be afraid or in fear during these times of resetting process. Also, be aware that there is going to be a lot of changes. If you're in a zone that is going to be hitting, getting hit with more energetic harvesting and basically like ley line attacks is what I call it. This is the way that I can speak about it without being flagged by anything because this is a completely different way of seeing the, the, what's happening on the game board. If you're in a zone that's being harvested heavily, you need to get yourself to a place that is more secure, okay? This is, should be your number one priority. And then getting yourself to a place where there's more clean food and clean water and a clean place to live that's not being bombarded with so much radiation. If you can do those things, if you can get yourself in a, a clean place where there's cleaner food, cleaner water, and a cleaner shelter, and you can get away from some of these radiation zones and these zones of attack where the matrix is just being very belligerent about who it targets. It targets you because you're a threat and because they are shutting the gates to the matrix prison. So if you're not a part of the matrix prison, get out now and find yourself a sovereign way of living and you will be able to transcend the game. But it really depends on whether you're going to do it or not. And if you're somehow in a zone and but you found your own little nook and cranny and you've already got it well then and then just make sure you got your your resources and your food and everything and therefore you can continue to work on your spirituality and maybe you can start to learn some of the more advanced stuff like the magical shielding the magical techniques and then eventually bring up your your currency and you're able to really start playing the game how it's meant to be played in a winning state of consciousness in a, su a success state of consciousness and then move into creating your own world and start to become a beacon. Because it's all about being the beacon and being that generator and just leveling up. And also staying detached at the same time. So not getting too caught up in the game. Things don't go right. If you make a mistake, if you kind of have a hole or two, you patch it up, you learn to uh, move on, and you just kind of, you know, you process through emotionally. So anyways, we want to say thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your time. And... Make sure you guys are you know, hitting the like button if you enjoyed the video and also leaving us a comment below on your thoughts and your opinions on really you know, your dharmic purpose. Have you really started to tap in and how are you seeing the progression within this matrix, within this hologram, within this experience, within this dream realm? You know, Has it been different for you? Has it been difficult? Has there been things that have been going and experiencing that you've been seeing, the attacks and whatnot? And how have you been learning to compensate or shield around that okay we want to know your thoughts and your opinions also we really uh, want to say thank you so much to our members and to those that are channel members on the youtube channel we really appreciate you and we are going to shout you out in our next live stream and if you're interested in joining our channel membership you will gain some certain abilities and certain perks so go ahead and click the join button now and also feel free to leave a donation on our cash app or our paypal um it's in the description below, and we really do appreciate donations and super chats on YouTube. So it's a really great way to support the channel. And if you're enjoying our content and you want to give back, we appreciate you. So thank you so much for your support, your never-ending um, comments and stuff. We're going to be coming with more content and more information because this reality is getting more and more crazy in a certain way. But at the same time, we're also finding our niche and really starting to carve into our world what is ours and what is ours sovereignly much love thank you uh, thank you so much for being here and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.